so I didn't expect to be called this morning. That's okay, I'm happy to. And I, I guess I shouldn't apologize, but I do apologize for the fact the United States, uh, the last administration pulled out of the Paris Accords and put us sort of behind the eight ball. Uh, the first thing I did when elected, I see my friend nodding his head over there because we talked about this before while I was running. Our meeting here in Glasgow isn't the end of the journey. We all know, and I know we all know this, and you know it as well or better than I can many of you. It's really just, a, just a, a, you know, a starting line to begin to really take, for the first time, really decisive action. Well, I know in the United States, just because of the leadership of people behind me, like former Secretary Kerry and Senator Kerry and a lot of you as well, that, um, that American people four or five years ago, weren't at all sure about climate change. It was real. Well, they have, as they say in southern parts of my state, seen the Lord. They've seen what's happened back home. The incredible changes that are taking place. And they're now finally, finally, finally realizing the sense of urgency that you all are. I think those of us who, uh, who have uh, deforested a long time ago, those of us who have uh, taken actions a long time ago to cause the problem we have. We have to be ready to step up for everyone from Tanzania to, uh, uh, to Fiji to make sure that they have wherewithal. And we have, that's the next, I have to acknowledge to you, that's the next big case that I'm going to have to make at home. They now know there is climate change and they're ready to step up. But we got to make sure they know that the United States has an obligation to also step up in finance.